Oh, what's going on, guys? It's Troy Dan here, and today we're going to be looking at the top 30 ugliest basketball shoes of all time. Yes, I know what's behind me. Okay, this was one of my favorite brands at a moment in my life. Starting number 30, we have the Triple B's Big Ball, the brand Z02. That is Lonzo Ball's signature shoe. What a shoe that was. I still regret that I didn't buy it just for the sake of having uh, that piece of memorabilia, but, you know, it's not the prettiest shoe, okay? They actually had some better Triple B shoes, I remember after, but, yeah, it, 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 it is what it is, okay? I understand. All right, let's go to the next shoe. We have number 29, the British Knight Kings SL from 1988. I've never seen that shoe in my life. British Knight. I don't even... It was a Burger King. I don't, it's got BK on it, dude. I don't know what this is. It's a, apparently a knockoff Air Jordan brand or Air Jordan 3. I'd give that shoe a 3 out of 15. It's not something I'd put on my feet unless there was a gun held to my head. Then I'd do anything. Literally anything. Number 28, we have the Converse Wade Slash. Oh, it's Dwayne Wade shoe. Um, I mean, I like that um, it's not Velcro. That's always something I like in shoes. They have laces like... Um, I had Velcro shoes as a kid. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know how to tie my shoes until like grade six, man. Is that normal? I was in diapers till like grade. One. Never mind. We have uh, okay. Let's get the next shoe. Nike LeBron Soldier Threes. <laughs> that looks like that looks like a sandal kind of. I I do like the bottom of it. It's got a fun little zigzag line with the blue around it. I like uh the the blue on the edges, but I don't know. Are those straps? What was that supposed to be? It says um it doesn't say anything about it. Wing tips. That, they look like baseball cleats. I don't, yeah, I don't really like those. I would give that a 3 out of 10, but I do like the colors, so the colors are nice to me, even though I don't see color. We have at number 26, the Nike Total Foam Posate Max that uh, from 1998. That really looks 90s. I don't mind that shoe. I have a feeling a shoe like that could come back, all right? It's got that space stylish 90s feel to it that I'm all about. Whose shoe was this? Oh, it's Tim Duncan's shoe? That was... Says it's Tim Dunk. I didn't know Tim Duncan had a shoe. Okay. I hey, all right. Tim Timmy D, I love it. Uh Nike LeBron. I give that shoe, by the way, a six out of ten. Gotta rate every shoe. We have the Nike LeBron V from 2007. Whoa. This looks like something fancy. Is that like cowhide? This also has a strap on it. Is that really that ugly? I mean, the strap is kind of unnecessary, I feel, but I I, I don't mind that shoe. Is there something wrong with me on that one? I don't mind that shoe at all. At number 24, surprise wasn't number 12, Carl Malone's LA Gear, or sorry, LA Gear Light, 1993. Yeah, that is a disgusting shoe for a fitting man, I guess. I Wow, I've never even heard of that shoe. LA Gear, I've never even heard of that brand, but whatever, all right, yeah, okay. Number 23, the GOAT number. We have the GOAT shoe, Air Jordan 20s. Whoa, that looks like uh, someone dropped a couple dollar bills across the shoe. What, what is going on? I don't even know what's going on. Those are like super high tops, right? They got like some ve red velvet in them. Hmm. That looks like something you'd wear in a red room. Like the, what was that movie called? Red Shoe Diaries? No, not that movie. Don't look that one up. What was the movie? 54 Shades of Grey or whatever. I don't know, dude. 22, we have... I used to wear Allen Iverson shoes. Not those. That's the Allen Iverson Reebok Answer XIII. Uh, <laughs> what's going on here, dude? Looks like they got the blinds, like, half shut. They also look like golf cleats with the little things on the bottom. That's not a great-looking shoe, but it's interesting. I would give it a 4 out of 10. That's right. Oh, I've seen these before. The cock shoe. We got Joe Kim Noah's cock. Uh, 2011. I have seen that shoe before. I've seen these on lists. Um, I mean, yeah, the, the Velcro. Is that Velcro the strap? Whatever the strap is. That's silly. They could lose that. But other than that, that's, um, actually, that's a disgusting shoe, isn't it? That looks like a child's shoe. Uh, like if, like a, I don't want to say, actually, what I was going to say. I'll take it back. I'll take it back. T Adidas T Mac 4, the 2004 Adidas T Mac. I think I remember seeing people wear that one in gym class. I, um, I don't mind that shoe. I've seen worse. I'm sure we're going to see even worse. Kevin Garnett's Adidas Bounce, the 2006 edition. It's got a signature on the bottom, the big ticket signature. That also looks very, that looks very cheap. That looks like a very cheap shoe. The little plastic on the end. Is that, wait, is that little plastic supposed to bounce you up? 
Do those work? Are they like moon shoes? You ever see moon shoes, kids? I gotta get, I'm gonna get some moon shoes. Someone remind me to get moon shoes. I'm gonna forget, I've already forgotten. We got the uh, 18, this is the Air Jordan 2010s, released, guess what, 2010. Is there a speaker in that? It says another pair where I feel like I'm ordering a McChicken just by looking at it. Does that look like a McChicken? I don't get it, but it does look like it could maybe shred cheese. Is that what that is? Multi-purpose shoe? A shoe where you can shred cheese? Dude, these are survival shoes, of course, for the goat. Uh, number 17, we have the Reebok Blast from 1996. It's not a signature shoe, but it looks like someone stepped on paint. Mul Actually, I realized that it's different colors of paint. Is this like a uh, stop racism kind of thing? I don't know, but uh, if it is, I respect it. Number 16, we have the Nike Air Maxalot. <laughs> It looks like a Rasta shoe. You got to smoke a blunt to wear that one. Whose shoe is this? It's no, it's no one's shoe. It's just a regular shoe. I mean, it, it, it's got a nice Jamaican feel to it, I guess. Jamaican colors. Did I just offend a culture? I'm going to go to the next. The Starberry! Didn't they bring that back? Or was I tripping? Possibly tripping. The Star... Wow, that is... I don't remember looking like that. There was many Starberries, right? Um, mm, That looks kind of like a, a sock with a little coloring in it. That is not... That is not a good shoe. What were they thinking? I don't understand that. Oh, there's a at number 14. We have that the, the other star. That was nicer. You're telling me that one is better than this one? I like that shoe. I mean, I don't like it, but I like it more. It's got the signature of, of the great Stephen Marbury. Uh, everyone wants his signature. I mean, a le legend in China. Uh, number 13. We have Baron Davis. Okay. Uh, the the Li Ning. Li. That's what it says. 2009. I have never seen that shoe. It's got Baron Davis's face on it. <laughs> oh, that is that is gross. That is so silly. Li, Li Ning. Okay, I've heard of that brand. It's what a Chinese brand, I believe. I, I would never, I would never wear that. It looks like it's got bullet holes in it. I was gonna make a joke. I got Baron Davis confused with Gilbert Arenas for a second. Uh, number twelve, we have Nike Air Jordan XVs. It came out in nineteen ninety nine. What the heck is this? This this is this is w a weird looking shoe. I I don't even know. It's got like mesh on the top of it. It's supposed to hold your le foot in or something. What's it say? It says this is some aliens looking sugar. I feel that if I put these on, one of the face hands will come and lay its eggs in my gut. I I, I don't know what that means, but okay. Oh, I've seen these. Glenn Rice is not a cut competition. Those are dad shoes. 1997, if I was a dad in 97, I'd be 10 years old with a kid. But I'd wear these shoes, because I'm a dad. These are dad shoes, man. This is, uh, I, 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 I whatever, dude, they're, they're ugly, we get it. Number 10, cracked in the top 10, every Jordan Fusion ever made. Oh, so they're putting a lot of different shoes in the number 10 spot. Is, is that really that bad? I mean, how do you tie them? I wish I could see the front of the shoe, because I'm kind of confused how it works. It looks like there's leather, or some sort of material on top of the laces. I'm not sure how that works, but um, uh, I, I'd wear those. I'd wear those today. I would. I think you're. I don't think this lace is accurate. Oh, we have the Latrell Spreewell Data Spinners. I have seen these before. They <laughs> they had the little spinner in the shoe there, as you can see. Um, it was a big time for spinning things. G Unit. G, -G, 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 -G Unit. They were huge back then, and they had these spinning chains. I actually ordered one when I was a kid. And I got, it was stolen. But uh, I, it, it was cool. Everything was spinning in uh, that age. We have the Dwayne Wade Converse 1 coming in at the 8th spot in 2005. That looks like like a, a sort of a leopard or a cheetah or something from Carol Baskin's Funny Farm scratched it. I, mm, I kind of, I don't fudge with it, but I don't hate it. It just, it could, it, it could go with the right outfit, okay? Maybe uh, a nice big balder brand shirt would match it perfectly. Number seven, we have the Nike Shark Lee. What? Is that for people with broken feet? Why has it got like a brace on it? I've never seen this shoe. So what's the point of having those those leather straps? Is this for kinky? Is this a kinky shoe? I didn't, I don't know, they make kinky sneakers. This is disgusting, but um, I, I'm very curious why the straps are there. It, it literally looks like some sort of, let's have some fun. Fun time with uh, you know, the family. I mean, with your with your with your wife or whatever. Uh, number six, we have Chris Weber's Dada C Dub. So they made more than one Dada. Two thousand two. Wow, those are shiny. 
Those are the shiniest shoes. I think that would be something we'd see uh, Puff Daddy wear. What was that music video with Mace? Uh, you kids don't know. That That's a shiny shoe. That would look great with a space outfit. Or if you're trying to reflect light. All right, top five. We have the And One's Chosen One, 2006. That's like a half a croc and half a pile of garbage. I used to wear And One's. In fact, I probably still have them somewhere. And One shoes. But I've never seen these. And One was also all the rage back then. But uh, I'm not sure how it's doing nowadays. Yeah, that's uh, that's not the pretty shoe. That looks like a child shoe. Maybe that's what it is. Number four, we have the Nike Flight Pusits 3. Nike, that flight made a shoe? That's, wow. That those They have windows in them. There's like little windows. You can see your feet. I think that's how it works. There is nothing appealing about that shoe. That is the most disgusting shoe we've seen today. I, I can't say anything about this. It, it, the colors are disgusting. The design is disgusting. It's got that stupid strap on there. Uh, this shoe is awful. That is one bad shoe. Number three, we have the Gilbert Arenas Adidas light switch. Does it come with a pen or a marker? I'm glad it does because the shoe is disgusting. At least you have something else to remember it with. I, well, Gilbert Arenas having a shoe. I don't remember this one at all either. I guess I was asleep during this time. Bang, bang. That's just a very basic shoe. It's, it's ugly, but there's definitely been uglier ones here. But it, it, it's still ugly. Number two, the Reebok Preachers. I have witnessed this shoe. I have. Is this Shaq's shoe? This is this definitely Shaquille O'Neal's shoe, right? I'm pretty sure I see him right there. <sighs> there's something special about that, man. You don't see a shoe like that nowadays, okay? That was a discount shoe. I think all the Shaq's shoes were supposed to be. These are, this is Shaq's shoe, right? I'm, I'm, I'm making a, I'm positive it is, but uh, I think that's Shaq and the actual emblem of it. Um, I, I don't hate that shoe. I don't hate it, but um, it, I guess it would have been pretty ugly for its time. All right, we are going to the number one shoe. I'm 99% sure I know what it is, but uh, let's entertain it. Let's see. Number one, it, no. Number one is the Adidas Kobe 2 from 2001. Known as the ugliest basketball shoe ever. Kobe's early shoes, from what I hear, were not pretty. And this would be an example of one of them. Those Adidas shoes, what was going on? Oh, man. I knew this was going to be here. I knew right away. I, thought, I wasn't sure if it was going to be a number one. But I knew we were going to see it today. I want to get that shoe. I think that shoe is so ugly that it's... I wonder how much it's going for. I'm going to check on eBay right now. 500 bucks right there. For, that's a little bit different. That's actually a little bit nicer. It's got the, the colors on it. There's a, there's a gray one they make. Wow, these are expensive shoes. There it is. There's one for $5.26. Um, I might buy these. Yo, press one if I should buy these. Two if I shouldn't. Three if you like cookies. I found one in size 12. I am a size 12. The vintage Adidas Kobe 2. Look at these beauties. Oh, man. They got a, they got a little bit of a crease on them. I don't know. Hmm. You know, I'm going to buy them. I am going to buy these shoes, but this is our ugliest shoe. Let me know what you think. Were some of these ugly? Were they forgetting some shoes there? Were they, where was the mids? No mids? Is that, maybe that's a mid. Is that, is that considered a mid? We'll figure it out. Guys, if you got a video like for me to watch or react to, you can tweet me at Troy Dan Gaming under the hashtag. No, t tweet me at Troy Dan under the hashtag Troy Dan Reacts. Thank you for watching, and kids, stay out of trouble. I'm going to buy these shoes. I'm not kidding.